In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys seven expensive private universities here in Ghana that foreign nationals or international students can attend. So as a foreign student myself, I have pride myself in researching universities even before I decided to admit in the university that I am currently in. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you prices and okay, not prices, but school fees and um, benefits that you can get from each of these universities and like the necessary information that you need to know about these schools in order to apply if you intend to. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Sims. If you're new, I make informational content about living in Ghana based off my experience. So if you're interested in knowing more about Ghana or this West African country, this amazing West African country, then stick around. Um, that is all we talk about here. So um, I am going to stop shamelessly promoting myself and we're going to jump into the main video. All right. So the first university that I am going to talk about is Webster University. So it is affiliated with the US and UK. So um, you can actually get an accredited certificate that can be used in the US, in the UK, in Western countries because it is recognized. So um, they have their branches in the US and UK and other parts of the world, which makes it much more cooler and advantageous than other universities. Now, this university fees per year is actually 9,800 United States dollars. And then per semester, you're going to be paying 4,900 United States dollars. So um, they have a couple of branches here in Accra. I'm not sure about outside of Accra, but I've seen a couple of branches here in Accra. And some of the requirements that you would need to enter this university is a high pass in Wasi if you're from Ghana here and um, if you're not from Ghana here or if you're not from a part of any of the West African countries that are part of the West African Examination Council then you might be needing uh, maybe a TOEFL or SAT those amplitude test if you are from any Western country to admit into this university. So they do have a couple of courses that are interesting. So some of the courses that they do offer are business and these courses are not limited to, but they do offer courses like business, um, computer science. I am fully aware that they offer science courses, business courses, and information technology courses or computer science courses. So um, you can actually apply they have their contact detail, they have an available website as well, so you can get more information about this university through Google or online, or you can get a contact if you're currently in Ghana here and you can make a phone call and someone is going to cater to you, which I've tried before, a phone call and their website. That's like one of the good thing about Webster University is a recognized private university outside in Western countries. So that's a plus for anyone willing to go to Webster. So the next school that is on my list is Lancaster University. So Lancaster is, is a UK based school. So normally you will start in Ghana here and you can complete your course outside of Ghana based on where you want to go. So they have a couple of branches as well in other Western countries. And the school fees for this university is 9,000 per year, and you get to pay 4,500 United States dollar per semester. I'm pretty sure they have some sort of payment plan at their school. Once you go there to get more information or once you contact them to get more information, you can find out how you're going to pay like your fees based off installments and stuff like that which makes it actually cool. So um, like Webster University, Lancaster also requires you to have a WASI certificate or WASI results if you are from 
any West African country that is part of the West African Examination Council. And if you're not, you'll also be taking, I think, a entrance examination or sometimes they might request for other things. Um, so basically, that's like it. They have branches outside. The benefit of attending this school is that you get to start here and then you get to finish your education outside, which gives you an advantage to um, explore and experience another world outside. So in order for you to contact them as well, you can also find them on your website through Google and you can also get their contact detail and contact them or you can go physically on their campus. They also have a couple of campus here in Accra and I currently do live closer to one of the um, campuses in Accra here. The third university that I am going to talk about is Asashi University. Asashi is actually a Ghana based university. It is really, really, really a pretty good university. So Asashi focuses mostly on the business side of like career and stuff like that. And the school fees per year for this university is 8215 United States dollars. Pretty sure by now the fees will change because most universities actually change like their fees after every two years and stuff like that. So you'll be paying around 4,100 plus, which is pretty cool. Um, it is a really nice university. Um, if you want to know more about um, Asashi University, there are a lot of videos on YouTube as well talking about that university because it is actually a really, really good university. Not just anyone can enter and most of the students get scholarships. They do offer scholarships as well um, at their university. So like all other schools, you need a WASI certificate or some sort of amplitude test or they either give an entrance examination as well for you to take and enter and if you meet like a scholarship requirement, you can actually get a scholarship to go to their school without paying like the full fees. So that is it for Asashi. So the next university that I'm going to talk about is another private university here. So this is this university is called Radford. So um, Radford is a popular university because they actually offer fashion courses and a lot of people are now interested in fashion related courses so a lot of people go to red for for fashion most of the time but they offer other courses as well like computer science um business courses and stuff like that as well as science courses so it um it's a pretty cool university they have fashion shows and stuff like that it's just so cool and there are a bunch of um foreign nationals also in that school so it is pretty fun pretty cool so the school fees for Radford is around 6200 that's the highest fee for each department you get to pay different sets of fees so based on the department that you're going to be a part of you will get your yearly fees as well as a breakdown of your fees per semester and installment but 6200 is the highest fee that is being paid in Radford currently and the lowest fee being paid in Radford is 4,500 United States dollars as well. So from the lowest to the highest, so based on whichever course you take, it will determine how much you get to pay. So there is no fixed fee um, fees for all courses and stuff like that. Radford has, I think, one branch currently in Accra and it's currently in East Ligon, which makes it really cool. Like you get to be in school in Ligon and you, there's so many activities that goes on over there. There are a lot of things that happen all the time. You have recreational centers around you a lot that you can visit and stuff like that while you school have fun at the same time as you school. So um, it is in a pretty good location. So yeah. So the next university I'm going to talk about is Wisconsin University. Now this is funny because 
this is one of the universities that I actually wanted to go to. I did a whole bunch of inquiries and stuff like that. But when, um, Wisconsin is also a US based school. They have branches in the US and um, it is affiliate. It is affiliated with the University of Ghana here. Um, they offer a lot of courses as well. So they have like a law school, they offer computer science courses, they offer business courses as well. Um, to enter Wisconsin, you will also need like the basic requirement, either OIC result or um, an entrance examination and stuff like that. Or whatever results you get from wherever country that you're coming from, it should be equivalent to Ghanaian standard of entry requirement when it comes to grading and stuff like that. For a year at Wisconsin, you pay five thousand United States dollars, and per semester you get to pay two thousand five hundred. And I'm pretty sure is it is also based on um, courses as well. But when you get to the school or when you intend to contact the school, you're going to get more information that you can get. So the sixth school that I'm going to talk about is um, Pentecost University, hence the name Pentecost. It is actually a church university and it's a private university. In Pentecost University, you can actually find a lot of Ghanaian there and it is fun to be there. I know a couple of people who attend um, that specific university and they have branches in other places as well, in other parts of Accra as well. So um, for Pinnacle University per year, you get to pay 4,000 and then per semester you get to pay 2,000. So it's pretty affordable and you can they actually offer a couple of courses as well a lot of courses honestly computer science related courses science related courses business related courses these are like the only courses that are stuck in my mind but i'm pretty sure that there are more to it um you can also find their website or contact them or visit one of their campuses or their head office and stuff like that so the last university that I'm going to talk about is the Blue Guys University College. So Blue Guys University is well known for fashion and information technology at their school. Um, but fashion students are dominating because they're really, really well known for fashion courses. Um, they offer certificate courses, they offer diploma courses, and they also offer H&D and um, degree as well as master's level so um blue christ fees is like three thousand per year and then per semester you get to pay thousand five hundred united states dollars for foreign nationals or international students and um they offer courses like information technology um business journalism or mass communication and then fashion i think these are the four departments that they currently do have I have one branch currently um it's in central it's in central accra at kokomumu and um their school is really good it's an inner bay school and they have other branches in a couple of west african countries as well so you don't have to come all the way to Ghana here if you're from another West African country that have blue guys in it. So, so far so good. That does it for this video. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, but that is it for today's video. I hope this list of schools were helpful to you guys. And um, if you need more information, you can hit me up on IG. You know where to find me. The link is, is in my description down below or you can also message me through my website and I will respond. If you want to know more about other things relating to Ghana system or living in Ghana and stuff like that, you can leave a comment in my community tab or in the comment section down below and I will be sure to look into it and generate a content for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. and. 
I hope to see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay true to yourself and peace. We're out.